What's up everybody? Got another video for you today, next one in my Fire and Ice series. Now, for this video I've decided to kind of speed things along a little bit because these first levels are not too exciting. I'm going to do a few of these levels for you in this video and uh, that way we can get to the good stuff a little sooner. Alright, so this is going to be World 1, Level 3. Okay, so for this one, still nothing too exciting. You're going to push this ice to get rid of that fire and that one as well. The only thing they have kind of new here is that this <clears throat> wall that I'm coming up to is too high to climb. It's two blocks high. But when you push that ice up against it, you can climb the ice, and then you can climb the now one block high wall. So there's that. You push this ice down like this. And all you have to do to finish this level off is do that. So that's that level where it kind of shows you you can get around the height limitations of walls in certain situations. And there we go. So here is the fourth level. Let's see what this one has. Okay, this one might look a little interesting, but really there's nothing to this level at all. All you have to do is push on these ice blocks. It doesn't matter which one to take out the bottom fires. And then after that, you can just walk to either side, it doesn't matter, and the ice will do the rest of the work for you. And you're done. So there's that one. Now, I think this level right here is the first time they kind of changed things up. So, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is the one. Alright, so up till now, you've only been pushing ice blocks around, um, climbing a little bit, but nothing uh, too interesting. You haven't even used your actual ice making abilities until this level. So your character is actually able to make and remove ice blocks like that. So you can make and remove as many ice blocks as you want. Doesn't matter um, how many times you do this. So I've just made a single uh, not attached to anything ice block like that. I can remove it. And notice that when I make an ice block here, it's actually attached to the, the block that I'm standing on. You can kind of see that with this little, um, it's got like little bits of white, I don't know, to kind of say that it's attached to the wall. Whereas this one that I'll make for you right here is up against the wall, but it's not a, necessarily attached to the wall. So if I did this, it would fall. Whereas this one being attached to the wall, if I took out the ice block underneath it, it would stay. Now that might not seem very important, but that's a very huge mechanic of the game that is very, very important for quite a few of their puzzles. Okay, so then to do this one, push these ice blocks together and now you can actually climb this one. So as long as you have at least, it's, it's at least two blocks, not high, but I guess wide, you could say. You can climb it because they, these are not going to be able to move. You can only push one block at a time. So that's kind of something else they introduced in this one. Um, okay, so then I'm just going to climb up here and let this ice go free. So as you can see, this level, level 5, has a lot more going on to it. Still pretty easy concepts, but introduces you to a, a much larger portion of the game. So that's all I'll do for today. I'll do some more levels tomorrow. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you thought. Comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow.